Gold rallying to start the quarter after a very rough start to the year. I'm joined now by Barry Reidholt, CEO of Fusion IQ, author of the Big Picture blog. Uh, so Barry, so round numbers, did gold just put in the bottom at around $1,200 an ounce, and can it continue to bounce from here? You know, the, the commentary we put out this morning on the blog is, can gold bounce? And when you see how fast and how far it's fallen, worst quarter in decades in a generation, my rule of thumb is anytime I hear worst anything for anything, that gets me interested in looking at the other move, the counter trend the rally. Counter move, right. and, and I wouldn't be surprised to see a nice bounce in gold from this level up to 1400, 1440. Um, but the problem is, I don't know if it's sustainable. After okay, because I know I, I can only imagine if we get back up above 1400 an ounce, the gold bugs, the gold bulls will say, aha, the sell off is over. Now we're marching back to 2000, 3000, 5000, and beyond. You he, don't see that happen. Well, here's the problem. The narrative that has been told by the gold bugs, starting in 2011 or earlier, the Fed is printing, the dollar's going to hell, fiat currency is awful, hyperinflation is coming, $10,000 gold. None of that is true, the, other than the Fed's been printing. Right, there's been right? no inflation. QE2, right. QE3, QE4, and the dollar is at multi-year highs right. after losing 41% from 2001 to 2007. Dollar at multi-year highs is not a good thing for gold. For, for gold, number one. Hyperinflation I've been hearing about now for five years. The Fed is concerned about deflation. Inflation is too low. We need to get the inflation level up, so that's not the issue. When you look around the rest of the world, whose currency are you going to go to? The yen is in a free fall. Europe is still a bit of a mess. Nobody bit, trusts. That's, that's an understatement. Yeah, right. yeah. I mean, they have 12 plus China, percent unemployment in the eurozone. Right. That's yeah. right, and ch and the yuan. Nobody trusts the Chinese as as a reserve currency. So, as I said the last time I was here, in the land of the blind, the one-eyed man is king, and king to dollar still rules. So, you're saying gold could bounce into the 1,400 an ounce range, and sure. then, and that's and you would be selling there if you well, if you're a long-term. Look, you, you've had a 10-year uptrend from 01 to 2011. That trend clearly broken. Speak to any technician. The trend is broken. The bull market is broken. Gold is now down 30-something percent. Yep. So it's now in a bear market. Typically, you'll see a bounce. You'll make up some percentage of it, depending on which school of technicals you want to look at. I I'm just looking at, at, at some previous highs and lows. So 1,400 or so, you get anywhere near that. I would hit that bid. What's really interesting is you'll, you'll hear the story resurrect itself Absolutely. around that level, and it'll sucker in a lot of money and, and they will rue the day. Uh, you know I'm not a fan of forecasts, but I'm not talking about gold. You could look at Apple, you could look at bonds, you could look at any asset class that goes through a collapse. And any time you hear worst blank in a generation, you should expect that that Some prior bounce. trend you know the rubber band only gets stretched so far before it comes snapping back. All right, so before I, I know you're not a, you're not a fan of forecasting, but before you came on camera, you said that you think gold can ultimately, after this bounce, then go down below a thousand dollars an ounce. Oh, sure. If you look at where it came from and what the you know Matterhorn uh, chart looks like, six to eight hundred dollars uh, is, is certainly a possibility.